Happy morning to everyone. Welcome to my channel Biotech Info. Today I am going to take the class of algae meaning seaweed and it is a word which is taken from a Latin word called as an alga. And the term algae was coined by Linnaeus and father of phycology is F. E. Frisch and father of Indian phycology is M. O. P. Iyengar. And study of algae is going to be called it as algology or phycology. So let us get into the characteristic features of algae. The first one is it is a chlorophyll bearing plant with a thyloid plant body. The algae's first point that we have to remember is it is consisting of a chlorophyll which is helping in the process of photosynthesis and also the structure is a thyloid structure because it is consisting of a thyloid structure we can't see a differentiation of a root stem and leaves second one is in habitat habitat represents the dwelling place of an organism and here it is going to be found in a freshy as well as a marine water and also it is going to be found on moist stones soil and on wood the third point is some of the algae are found in association with the fungi which we are going to call it as a lichens means here the symbiotic association is going to take place between an algal and a fungal component and we are going to term it as lichens and the fourth one is form and size of the algae how it will be means it is variable it is going to be from unicellular filamentous structures and also some are colonial forms are there that's why we are going to call it as it is a variable it will be there and they, uh, we are going to have an examples like microscopic unicellular form example is clamidomonas clamidomonas which is consisting of a cup shaped chloroplast which is a microscope pick which is unicellular form and also we are going to have one more example of colonial form that is wall wax and also filamentous form example is ulthrix as well as a spirogyra which is consisting of a spiral structure or we can even call the chloroplast is in the form of a spiral right next one is a Kelps, which is going to be called it as marine algae and it is forming a massive plant bodies the fifth point is some algae are also occur in association with animals sloth beer it is an example of an algae which is having an association with the animals now algae are autotropic they fix the carbon dioxide which is present in this earth around 50 percent half of the total carbon dioxide fixation on this earth is going to be taken place by the algae they are autotropic and also they are helping for the fixation of the carbon dioxide and half of the carbon dioxide which is present in this earth is going to be fixed by the algae the cell wall what is a cell wall made up of means the cell wall of algae is made up of cellulose as well as the pectin next one is tissue system is absent these all are the characteristic features of the algae the first one is it is consisting of a chlorophyll and it is in the form of a thyloid form that's why we can't see the differentiation of a root stem or the leaves second one is where it is present in which habitat it is going to survive the third one is in the association of the fungi also some organisms are surviving and the fourth one is the form and the size of the algae how it is and next one is it is also having an association with the animals and this uh, next one is it is helping in the fixation of the carbon dioxide and also the cell wall is made up of a cellulose and the pectin substance and the tissue system is absent because we come to know that there is a no any differentiation of the roots or stem or leaves so we can easily say that there is no any tissue system because tissue system is absent you can't see the vascular 
vascular tissue vascular tissue means what vascular tissue it is a complex tissue which is made up of a xylem and phloem and xylem and phloem they are helpful for the conduction of the water from roots to all parts of the body and also the phloem which is a complex tissue which is helping for the conduction of the food material from the leaves to all parts of the body and it is made up of a different types of cells and also having a various functions to perform that's why we are going to call the vascular tissue as a complex tissue and next one is classification of algae is based on pigments yeah the first we come to know that it is consisting of a chlorophyll now we have to know what pigment or which pigment it is it is a chlorophyll a or it's a b carotene means this chlorophyll a and b carotene or a chlorophyll b these are the universal pigments which are present in the algae so let us get into now about the reproduction now vegetative reproduction how it is going to takes place in the algae the first one is a binary fission what is a binary fission cells divides mitotically and it divides into two daughter cells and that two daughter cells are going to behave as a new cells that is going to be called it as binary fission and in algae we are seeing the binary fission as one of the method of vegetative reproduction and another one is a fragmentation because it is a thyloid structure it is a filament the structures these filaments or thyroid structures are going to break into a small 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 fragments and they are going to behave as a new cells so this vegetative reproduction is consisting of the two that is binary fission it is going to be found in unicellular algae and fragmentation it is going to be found in the filamentous algae and next one is sexual asexual reproduction it is going to take place with the help of a spores and these spores are of two types that is a zoospores which are motile and also the non motile spores called as an aplanospores are hypnospores and akinites and these are going to be formed in an unfavorable conditions unfavorable conditions the spores are going to be develop and those spores are non motile spores and also the juice spores which are motile and formed in the favorable condition and having the flagella 